When Black Ops 4 Zombies came out, the most noticeable thing, besides the overwhelming amount of blue screens and Jason Blundell's beard, was the new point system. Before then, the point system was very simple. Every time you shot a zombie, you would get 10 points. If you killed a zombie, the amount of points you got depended on whichever part of the body the final lethal shot would connect to. If you killed a zombie by shooting them in the torso, you would get 60 points. If the lethal shot was in the limb, you would get 50 points. With a headshot, you would get 100 points, and if you knifed them to death, you would get 130 points. In Black Ops 4, all of that changed. They made it so that you would no longer get the 10 points every time you shot a zombie. Now, you would just get 90 points with every kill. If you got a headshot, you would get an additional 30 points, and if you got a knife kill, you would get an additional 60 points. In Cold War Zombies, things are a lot simpler. Now, if you get a regular kill, you get 90 points, and if you get a headshot or a knife kill, you will get 115 points. So it's closer to the Black Ops 4 point system than it is to the old point system. A lot of people didn't like the new point system in Black Ops 4 Zombies, and we'll get into why that was the case in just a minute, but before we do that, we have to talk about why the point system was changed in the first place. The developers at Treyarch thought that the old point system was easy to exploit. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, basically, if you were a somewhat decent Zombies player, you could easily maximize your points and get completely set up before round 10. And after that, points became sort of meaningless and kind of irrelevant because you would no longer have to worry about points at all. With the old point system, your mindset was to get a weak weapon, like an SMG, in the early round and get as many hit markers as possible before killing the zombies. So before getting set up, you weren't looking for a powerful weapon, but quite the opposite you needed to get a weak weapon so you could maximize your points. For example, on round one, you could shoot a zombie in the leg with your pistol eight times, and then knife them to get a total of 210 points per kill. So the devs at Treyarch simply believed that it didn't make sense that you were encouraged to not kill a zombie and not do damage to gain any sort of advantage. So as a sort of knee-jerk reaction, they implemented a new point system in Black Ops 4 Zombies. And now with the new system, you were encouraged to deal more damage and get kills to get more points. The game wanted to reward you for getting headshots and getting melee kills because those are more difficult to perform. And with that system, it takes longer for you to get set up round-wise, so points become more meaningful because they're not as easy to obtain. Now, the reason why people didn't like the point system in Black Ops 4 Zombies is because even though it objectively made more sense, it didn't quite work. And that's because the developers designed the other gameplay mechanics in a way that didn't complement the new point system. What I mean by that is that in Black Ops 4 Zombies, points are harder to get, and what you can get with the points that you earn is not great. So it almost feels like it's not worth maximizing your points, because the reward for maximizing points is more lackluster. A main part of the setup process is getting your perks, but if the perks aren't good, then you're not gonna feel motivated to want to get them as soon as possible. And because you had more health and you were able to take four hits, buying perks not only felt less satisfying, but it felt less necessary. In Cold War Zombies, we still kind of have the new point system, but people don't really mind as much, because this time around, the devs actually designed the other gameplay mechanics in a way that is complementary to the new point system. For example, your perks can do more now, so not only does it feel more satisfying to buy those perks and use them, but it feels more necessary as well. And it's not just that, they've done other things to help make the new point system work better. For example, now, you can pack a bunch of your gun through times, but it's not like it was in Black Ops 4. In that game, you could pack a punch your gun five times, but every time you pack a punched it, it would only get more powerful by a little bit, and it only took 15,000 points to get a single weapon fully upgraded. In Cold War Zombies, every time you pack a punch, you can feel the difference 
instantly. Because every time you pack a punch your weapon, you get twice the damage, and it takes a total of 50,000 points to fully upgrade your weapon. So now, in Cold War Zombies, points are more difficult to earn, you need more points to get set up, it takes longer for you to get set up, but when you finally do get set up, it feels like it was worth it because the value of the reward matches how hard you have to work for it. Everything is more expensive in Cold War Zombies. You have expensive doors, the perks get more and more expensive every time you buy one, and the wall weapons are more expensive as well. But somehow it feels right. It didn't feel like that in Black Ops 4 Zombies. But what if we compare the old point system with the new point system in Cold War Zombies? Which one is better? With the old system, you could rack up a lot of points, but it's not as easy to exploit as the developers might think. There is a trade-off, one that I don't think the developers at Treyarch ever took into consideration, and that's time. With the old system, you could rack up a lot of points, but it would take more time. You would have to carefully shoot every zombie in the leg and then knife them, so it took a lot longer. With the new system, the faster way of killing zombies also gives you more points, so perhaps the old system is not as broken as one might think. And another positive thing the old system offers is making the SMGs and the weaker weapons serve a purpose. They could be used as point weapons, so it gave the players an incentive to want to have more variety in the weapon selection. With the new system, the stronger the weapon, the better. There is really no reason for you to want to get an SMG. However, the weapon rarity system does a lot to help with this problem. Because sometimes you're gonna choose a weak weapon if the rarity is high enough. If you have a rare assault rifle and you get an epic or a legendary SMG from the box, you're probably gonna pick the SMG. So sometimes you're gonna go for the rarity as opposed to a specific weapon which encourages the players to keep every single weapon into consideration. But the problem is still kind of there. Let's say you're not doing the camo challenges, and there's no reason for you to want to get headshots. Your starting weapon is probably going to be the combat knife. It's quick, it's powerful, it maximizes your points, and you don't have to worry about running out of ammo. Why would you pick an SMG as your starting weapon? There's really not much of a reason. The only reason I can think of is maybe you want to use some of the attachments that give you more equipment drops and more salvage drops, but even then, you could use an assault rifle instead. You can't really strategize and really think about maximizing your points because the game just doesn't allow you to do that. With the old system, you could come up with certain strategies to get as many points as you could as early in the game as you possibly could. Did everybody want to do that? No because it took a lot of time, but it offered more variety in the ways that you could play in those early rounds. Sometimes you didn't feel like maximizing your points, so you just killed every zombie as fast as you could, but sometimes you wanted to get set up as early as possible so you could take your time and carefully and slowly rack up as many points as you could in those early rounds. In Cold War Zombies, there is really only a handful of different ways you could play in those early rounds, so there is less variety in the ways that you could get set up. But the game makes up for it in the later rounds when even in the 20s and sometimes in the 30s, you're still kind of working on getting set up. With the old system in the 20s, points weren't really much of a resource anymore. But in Cold War Zombies, in the later rounds, you still have to think about points. You still have to manage them just like you do with salvage and armor and equipment and things like that. The game also allows you to buy ammo for your weapons, so even in the late game, you're still gonna use points. So it's more balanced. Overall, I think they both have pros and cons, but I prefer the old system just a little bit more. I think having the option to be able to play the game differently, especially in the early rounds, is very valuable, but I'm perfectly fine with the new point system in Cold War Zombies as well. It works pretty well with the other mechanics in the game, and I think the way it's done is quite smart. That is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the new point system. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.